In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. On May 1, 2021, the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines will consecrate our country under the patronage of St. Joseph. Each day, starting April 22 until April 30, we invite you to reflect on a selected quality of St. Joseph and pray for your intentions and our country. April 28 Reflection Saint Joseph, Patron of the Dying Saint Joseph, Patron of the Dying, praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. One of the most painful experiences is dying and death. When death hits the family, such painful feelings surge in our lives. And even during these pandemic times, that becomes doubly difficult. For our loved ones die in isolation, that we are unable even to say goodbye to them or in embrace them. I invite you to draw insights from the life of St. Joseph. There is truth to the fact that Joseph died before Jesus began his public ministry or Mary was a widow at the time of the passion and death of Jesus. That his mother was entrusted to the beloved disciple. Take this as part of God's plan. But there is a strong consolation that Jesus and Mary were present when Joseph died. That at his dying breath, his gaze was fixed on his beloved, namely his son and his wife, Yeshua and Miriam. And I ask you to meditate on this scene of the dying Joseph. And I invite you to be present and witness to their farewell. There must be tears in their eyes, tears from a just man who served God faithfully up to the very end. Tears from the woman who said yes to the will of God. And yes, tears from Jesus, the man who has loved his father up to the very end. And as you meditate on this scene, I invite you to insert yourself in the family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. In your singular prayer, maybe at the end of your life, you may gaze on the face of Jesus and his mother with Joseph. And I ask that Joseph may accompany you to live a holy life. Because at the end of our lives, we shall be questioned by love. That at the end of our lives, we shall be asked, how much have you loved? And this is the standard of the end of our life. Joseph can truly say, he has truly loved, truly loved. Loved his wife, loved his son. In the prayer that will follow, I invite you to let your imagination help you in encountering and experiencing Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Imagine the room that holds Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. See Joseph lying down on the bed with Mary and Jesus by his side. Imagine yourself present with them in the room. Where do you find yourself? Are you near Joseph, Jesus, or Mary? See Joseph on his deathbed with Mary and Jesus accompanying him as he waits to breathe his last. How do you feel as you witness this moment in their life as a family. 
When you are ready, look at Mary as she fixes her gaze on the dying Joseph. How do you feel as you see Mary looking at Joseph, who is nearing his death? What do you sense from her? What does she want to tell Joseph? Turn your attention to Jesus, who looks tenderly at his father, the father who taught him to be the man that he is now, ready to take on the mission that God the Father has planned. What do you feel from Jesus? What do you feel from Joseph? Feel the love between them as they gaze at each other's eyes. What do you sense Jesus is trying to tell Joseph? What do you perceive Joseph is trying to tell Jesus? Now, look at Joseph. See the tears express his great love for them as well as profound gratitude to God for being the husband of Mary and the father of Jesus. How do you feel as he senses Mary's gentle presence as he waits to breathe his last? How do you feel as he looks at the eyes of Jesus as he breathes his last? See the tears from Mary who said yes to the will of God. She once again says her yes to God's will for the death of Joseph. Lastly, See the tears from Jesus, the man who loved his father to the very end. Look again at Joseph who has joined his creator and remind yourself of your death. What do you want to tell Joseph? Ask him to accompany you to live a holy life. Ask God that before you breathe your last that you may say this prayer. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I give you my heart and my soul. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, assist me in my last agony. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, may I breathe forth my soul in peace with you. Amen. May Joseph, the patron of the dying, help us to live holy lives now. Be holy like Joseph. God, our loving Father, you gave us Saint Joseph as a model for our lives. A life lived in silent obedience to God, a holy life, a life that loves to the utmost of his being. Let us look to Saint Joseph, follow his example, and manifest in our lives how much we love our Lord Jesus and his mother Mary. In this pandemic, we empathize with our brothers and sisters who have passed on or are in the throes of dying with no one beside them to hold their hands to pray with them. We share the anguish of their loved ones. May Saint Joseph assist and comfort them. We beg you to help us give our hearts and surrender our souls to Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, that they will be with us at the end of our days as we close our eyes, 
that we may have that foretaste of heaven and earth as we gaze upon their loving eyes as the hour of our death. May Saint Joseph, patron of the dying, help us live holy lives now. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. O glorious Saint Joseph, behold I choose thee today for my special patron in life and at the hour of my death. Preserve and increase in me the spirit of prayer and fervor in the service of God. Remove far from me every kind of sin, obtain for me that my death may not come upon me unawares, but that I may have time to confess my sins sacramentally and to bewail them with a most perfect understanding and a most sincere and perfect contrition, in order that I may breathe forth my soul into the hands of Jesus and Mary. Amen. The Year of St. Joseph Prayer To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our afflictions, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embraced the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by His blood and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield too each one of us by your constant protection, so that Supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Let us pray for our personal intentions. Now, let us pray for our country. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.